What's up, it's Chris with Superfly, and today we're gonna go fly the Advanced Epsilon DLF. All right, gang, here we are with the Advanced Epsilon DLS. I have the 26 meter, and I'm a little bit toward the higher end of the weight range. That's a good thing because it's a cracking afternoon here on the north side, so. We'll go out there and just see how she does, check out the handling, put it through some drills, see what we can find out. Here we go. So friends, here we are with the Advanced Epsilon DLS, and it's on. Not only windy, but also nice thermals rolling through. It's a really good thermal day. People are out flying cross country right now. We'll still get a flavor for, for the day here. We'll still pass through some nicely active air, so this will be a great test. So far, the gliders moves around a little bit, but puts me totally at ease. Haven't seen fit to yank a bunch of brake or be too defensive. So like the other gliders we've reviewed recently, comfortable with a wrap or without a wrap both seem to be fine when we're climbing and it's early in the afternoon that's a good time to have a wrap in my experience okay this is where we get to make some consecutive circles with friends so here we go advanced epsilon dls thermaling I'm the kind of guy who just puts the body over and just keeps it over. There I find that it makes it more steady. Not only that, it keeps you in good position in the thermal. And then the hand, I just work the hand. I do a lot of letting off. And then I pull again. Always maintaining a little pressure on the outside. There's the core. Now see how quickly we can sneak back. Look over the shoulder, big lean. That's the best. Love looking over the shoulder and cranking one in a thermal, especially with a friend. John on the hang glider here has been my buddy for 30 years. Nobody's got more airtime than him. Nobody's flown with paragliders more than him. Okay, while we're cruising here, might as well go do some big ears. Nicely marked with a red leader and its own separate riser out to the side. Big ears. Very relaxed affair. Very quick to pop out. Especially when compared with some other low Bs we've been flying. We'll go ahead and give it asymmetric deflation just for giggles. So, right side, wrinkle. Then a left side big ear. To see how she behaves. Pretty steady, pretty smooth. open. All right, a little bit more crisp on the asymmetric this time. Switch the grip. A little harder yank. Always good to work a progression on this stuff. You never want any surprises, no matter what the category. Kind of turned left. Even when I pulled a big right asymmetric, it turned left. So that happens. Go ahead and do a bigger one side and see which way it turns. Pretty straight with one big ear. Classic risers, one, two, three, split A. No particular provisions for flying on the rears. I suppose everyone knows that with uh, speed bar on, you can pull a little bit on the C before it makes a wrinkle. And that's a nice way to stay out of the brakes, but still stays linked up with the glider. There's a nice thermal. Nobody around. We'll see what happens when we crank it a little hard. Oh yeah. Doesn't really want to uh, make the glider exit too much. Just wants to keep arcing. We'll take that any day. 
So basically cracking uh, early afternoon conditions here, even though it's six something, it's midsummer and we're here in the desert. That's about what you get for a view, not bad, Salt Lake City. Give you a quick 360 view. It's good for some wing overs. Here we go, we'll start off with no wrap and to see how it feels. Quickly back to the right. Eyes come left, head in the middle. Nice. That's weight shift primarily. Already we got a few G's going. We'll pump it up for a second, see how upside down we can get. Late pull. Nice. Big 270 direction change. Alrighty. And then we'll back it down. Come back to our original heading. As opposed to circling out. This is a better test of the glider. Yeah, it comes back to equilibrium quick. Like a low B should. Not even a low B, more of a mid slash high. Based on what we're feeling so far. All right, so passes the wing over test with flying colors. Quick check on the altitude. We'll go ahead and do some asymmetric spiral type turns if you're into that kind of thing. Little pause and then back in nice and smooth with a little extra at the end. There's our pause heading, gentle in, then harder. There's our pause heading, gentle in, then harder. Good. Maybe wait a little longer on this one. All righty. And a smooth exit with a nice circle. All right, that's a nice test. So it kind of wanted to go fast on me. I wanted to kind of slow it down. I guess that means I needed to pause longer. All right, let's go tank back up. Let's see what we can get. All righty. Getting into the zone here. Here we go. All righty. Not a, not a bad first safety stall. Here we go again. little spin action. Okay. See if she'll sap. Okay, it worked. All right, still just cruising on the Advanced Epsilon DLS. You know, 30 minutes into the flight here and we've had all sorts of fun. I guess if we were gonna summarize, we would just say, we never felt nervous. We never felt the need to be crazy deep in the brakes and defend against a lot of deflations or anything. More, than, more often than not, my hands kind of relax to here where I barely have trailing edge deflection. That's just how the glider spoke to me. It kind of told me that that was okay. Uh, it doesn't mean that I don't just test down into it every so often. It's nice to come down and hit that nice wall of pressure. And that, by the way, happens with the brake toggle right at the top of the carabiner. That's a nice, healthy, respectful amount of brake to pull on a glider like this. Uh, if I were to test deep and go for uh, the deepest setting that I would hang out at, I would say that's probably right in here. So the range is basically from bottom of the toggle at the top of the carabiner. When you run into the funny air, then magnet at the bottom of the carabiner was about right for me. Flying a glider for 10 hours or something will really teach you what you want to know. Hope you enjoyed the ride with us. It's been super fun testing this uh, Epsilon DLS with you. Again, uh, I'm on the 26 and I'm uh, 90 to 95 kg out here in active air and feeling right at ease. Didn't really have any deflations to speak of during the takeoff process. Wing overs were excellent. Asymmetric spirals were full on. Little stall, little spin. We had one surge where I felt like I needed to break it. The rest of the surges kind of just hung out at the nominal level. Coming in to land here, a little bit lighthearted. All right, gang, see you next time.